But this is why we're in the mess we're in, and the enemy is happy for us to have our prayer meetings and fast as long as we don't act. Jim. I just want to do a, a clarification. It's a sub point, and it's not all that critically important. I feel like the minor leagues after Michael Brown uh, <laughs> talked here. But a clarification. Um, a friend of mine lost a lot of weight, and she became a runner, and many people criticized her for being so gaunt and so thin. She finally looked at him and said, you've just never seen healthy. <laughs> now, the reason I'm saying that is because now here comes a little zinger. I'm going to sound defensive, so fasten your seatbelt. At least three times, but who's counting, I have been called political in this meeting. I am not political. I'm biblical, but you don't recognize it. <laughs> I'm governmental and biblical because God is. Everybody understands that the Bible speaks to the personal issues of life. Nobody argues that. Everybody understands the Bible speaks to the family issues of life. Nobody argues that. Everybody understands it speaks to the congregational church issues. Nobody argues that. But if you dare bring up government, you're labeled, oh, he's the political guy. And the enemy loves that. Because as long as you ostracize that and marginalize it, so oh, he's the political guy. Well, that's just political stuff. We don't want to be political. We push it off there. We don't want to be identified with the Republican Party now, do we? That'd be terrible. We'll be there with a hip pocket. As long as we play that game, the enemy is delighted. He controls that dynamic. The picture's on the wall over there, James. You're pumping the water. You're feeding them. That's because government has violated Scripture. Yep. You're, you're, you're addressing it at that realm, and you should, and we must. We have to. But I'm trying to say, let's go for the top level of government to get them in line with Scripture so that people aren't starving. And that's what birthed this nation, for God's sake. I sat with the ambassador of Tajikistan, and I said, sir, he's a Muslim nation. He's Muslim. I'm Christian. He knows I'm Christian. I say, 40% of your population is unemployed. He says, yes. I said, that breaks my heart. He says, it's bad. I said, that, that, that's hard on a nation. He says, yes. I said, I come here bringing biblical principles of governance for how a nation can operate in economic principles that brings prosperity to the people. He's very happy to see me. He does not say, oh, you're political. He didn't cast me aside. That's the first time I've had a chance to vent what I'm now saying. Don't call me political ever again. I want you to know I hope we're getting this on tape. Please, okay. dear God. I'm this, biblical. This will leave this room, and folks. Governmental. This will leave the room. And the enemy is elated. Now, don't interrupt me, Richard Land. I love you. I, I haven't had a chance to rant for 20 years on this, so I'm going to do it. And I'm about done. My last sentence here. But this is why we're in the mess we're in, and the enemy is happy for us to have our prayer meetings and fast as long as we don't act. Boy, that's good, buddy. Hey, I'm sorry, folks. This we is as straight from God want. as anything you're ever going to hear. And that doesn't mean other things weren't. But you are hearing from God and a man that's given his life, risking his life for it. And I love every fiber of your being, and you know it, Jim. Repeat after me. Jim is biblical. Thank you. I'm done. <laughs>